Well, we are here at our meetup. We have had the best time. We've done cooking. I did a demonstration. D, actually D from Lady Bug Out and myself did a demonstration of a wonderful dish. And we are now getting ready to do a demonstration. I almost tripped. <laughs> of a shower so what do you have to say so far of the meetup d and i love it it's been so fun to meet everybody that i know by name but not by face maybe so yeah and here we have janice how have you been you're this is your first trip out it is it's it's a learning curve for me but i have good mentors okay all right and fee my dear friend fee my dear friend carol our, I'm glad you made it. I uh, couldn't wait for you to get here. I know. It took me a while. I'm loving this. And Stacy, oh my gosh. Stacy, after I cooked, she took all of the dishes and washed them. That was such a relief and such a big help. And we've got everyone else here, Travel Grandma and others. Hello. Say hello, everyone. All right. We're going to start now with the shower. I saw this on another video. Actually, it was on, I think it was She to Me, but I'm not sure. I'll put the name on here. But we're going to show you how we make a shower. Tim from Mo Bang for Your Bucks YouTube channel was kind enough to lend a hand in doing the demonstration of how to make an easy portable drop down shower to use when boondocking in an appropriate spot. Here he is taking down the practice shower prototype that we made. As you can see, the shower frame, which is made of inexpensive PVC, attaches to the side of any van using suction cups with attached hooks. Of this uh, hook. And these are, which hooks are these? These are the Hasco. Okay, so it's a suction cup and then it has hooks so you can put the PVC, but Tim is gonna demonstrate that. Can you show how these hooks go together? All right, as you can see the picture, you actually have to take the knob off in order to put this hook on. Okay, well, why don't you show us? So there's a slot right there. Mm -hmm. Go in. Now we're doing this upside down, right? Um, From the picture? It should come out like this. Oh, okay, all right. So I'm gonna do it this way. So we're doing two of these. Okay. You don't want to tie them out completely. Just leave, let it loose like this. Okay. All right. And then you, you're going to take that and you're going to put it against the side of the van. So these are the legs of the shower, and these are made of what? PVC. Um, okay, so one inch. PVC, mm -hmm. and then on each end we've got a L. coupling. L. An elbow. elbow. Oh, okay. I don't know an elbow from a coupling, but <laughs> you're gonna need uh, one, two, three, four, four L elbow. Okay. One T elbow. Okay. Uh, coupling, one coupling and two end cap like this. Okay, and then you're gonna need also a flange. Which is the metal. And the flange is for, but I'll show you as you get it assembled, but the flange is for the centerpiece for the shower that holds it up. So I use this as a template to mark where I'm gonna mark. If you're gonna work by yourself, you're not gonna have help, so. Okay. So you're using that to measure how far down, okay. I'm a little bit shaky on this camera here. Okay. So now we're gonna assemble that uh, square on the top there. Okay. So these are the four sides, are actually three sides here of the shower. Kind of twist as you push it in, so make it easy. 
So the top and the two sides are the same. They're a piece of PVC with an elbow, but the middle here has a couple, is that a coupling? It says T. Oh, a T, hello. Okay, so that's a T and- and that needs to be outside. Okay, so show how that's gonna work. Now you need to put this vertical piece into a T cup. Okay. And it's gonna go into this flange, metal flange. So might as well screw it in right now. So we have two pieces there, but could we actually just use one really long piece? Yes. With just a thing but, on the uh, bottom. If you cut them down, it's easy to put in a little small packet. Okay. Like this. Okay. Like one little small packet. So it's better to have them shorter to fit for yeah. transport. Okay. See, right now it's not even, so you need to cut these two pieces like in the midsection. Even. Okay. Uh, I should note that I'm the one who cut those so that's why they're not even <laughs> all right and then the next step is to just put up the shower curtain so here you have the shower curtain and then the shower hooks okay and then that goes up let's see how that goes up okay so now you're just hooking this up onto the components now I should note that this shower curtain is really dark and I got it this way because a lot of the other shower curtains you could see through, but this one you cannot see through. Also, this shower curtain has weighted magnets on the bottom. This is one spring. I think that's the broken. Okay. Now you can put magnets on the side and put this against the side of the van if you want just for security to keep it from blowing if it's windy. And Tim, would you mind stepping in and giving us a little demonstration? <laughs> we didn't see that. Could you do that one more time? <laughs> All right, so this is now, what I'd like you to do is, could you just um, just take the shower curtain down? I wanna show um, where you can actually, yeah, just take the shower curtain down. And you could actually just disengage the, um, the center pole. And if you're not gonna be moving, you could actually leave the, I'm gonna show how it goes down in a second. My Globy Stacy had a good idea. What was that idea? Could you leave the shower curtain up and just disengage it there and let the shower curtain blow in the wind? You could. That's a very good idea. And then you don't have to take everything down. But if you wanted to, you could also just take the center piece down and then you could leave it, if you're not going to be traveling, just leave it down like that. And then whenever you're going to take your shower, just all you have to do is put the shower curtain up and the center piece. And there you go. Now, what you can do is you can use a portable shower in here. You can, I have a Nemo Helio. You can use those pumps that people put in to a bucket of water. I mean, whatever shower you're using, but this is giving you the privacy. And even if you have a smaller or shorter van, you can um, do that also. So you can do this on almost any size or any height van, just as long as it will accommodate the length of this pole down here. So thank you very much, Tim. And there's our shower.